A lot of you may have already seen this game, but I really wanted to tie this together and do something special with it because it's one of the best games that I've ever covered. It's one of the best games I've ever seen. Full context for this game is this was the third game in a best of three at Red Bull Wololo, an event that was in an actual castle in Germany just recently. And other aspects around this series were incredible, like Kapoch when he had come out of retirement a couple years prior, had beaten MBL in a set, which shocked everybody. MBL obviously didn't want Kapoch to be able to beat him again in this series. However, we had some crazy moments to bring us to the Game 3, including some epic moments where MBL dominated water and was able to control the whole game and win Game Number 1. And then game number two, where Catbotch was able to deny a castle, and then also this really funny moment in the middle of the game. Just, just booming right now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on! Boom! Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well... Ridiculous. Now, one final thing to say as this game begins is it was Empire Wars settings. We talk about it a little bit in the cast. Basically, everything starts fast and furious, and everything starts in feudal age. But the rest brought us one of the most ridiculous games I've ever seen. So sit back, relax, ladies and gents, and enjoy. And MBL, as you can see there, we're getting into game number three, our deciding game. MBL, look at the food in the bank. It's, it's simply not... Really there for him. Kapoch is already starting with the military production. He's got the archer coming out. He's got the spearman coming out. MBL with one spearman so far, and he's already starting the wall. Personally, not the biggest fan of the archer opening. We will, of course, have to see how it goes. Uh, it should be possible for Fletching to be at a better timing, but a Kapoch goes for the archer opening with the Franks that are known for stables. And MBL trying for the big think, wall on the backside. I think MBL's got to be really active with his scout forward. He's got to delay those archers as long as possible. Yep. Uh, denying his walls. He's actually sending the scout back because he saw the scout from Capwatch. Those are really big hits. Like, normally that wouldn't be massive. But with Chinese, where you just have to buy yourself a few minutes, getting yep. any damage against the early um, military from Capwatch is going to be extremely valuable. MBL has his wood upgrade now. Yep. He has army now. However, he's going to be on one ranged unit. Capwatch is going to be on three. He's trying to get himself to that stage where that extra vil start is going to pay off for him. And truthfully, he's already walled he's at the front. He's already doing a really and, good job. And those two spearman hits, like <gasps> I said, it was huge. Oh no, there's a there's a hole there. Oh, no. He's got a scout nearby. He's got an oh. archer there, and he sees the archers coming in. I oh. think he's going to realize. Yeah, he realizes. At least he's aware. Oh, man. Yeah, at least he's aware is right. And he, he, the villagers are actually getting some decent hits yeah. in here. And Kapoch didn't. Kapoch goes for the vill. MBL will take that. Yeah. MBL will be very happy. That he started he with three extra vills. Side. If yeah. he loses one, he's still two vills ahead. It's like, that's hilarious. Yeah. So funny. All right. Well, now you start to, you know, regret possibly the ranged opening, but Franks still have an incredible economy. Mm -hmm. And Capwatch, I mean, behind this is walling too, yeah. right? So Capwatch is buying himself some time with that forward pressure. Obviously, he doesn't need to get horse collars, so he can just start adding farms right away, which is, makes the Frank transition so easy. Yeah, it does. To make. And as MBL comes forward now, it's his turn to be the aggressor. Capwatch already has units there to defend and even managed to save some of those units he in initially sent forward. So Capwatch's eco looking quite strong. Look at that food count right now. 530. Impressive stuff from Capwatch. Yeah, and he also falls back and defends his gold, uh, the only area that really seems open at the moment, mm -hmm. and also his hunt. So let's talk long term in terms of the civs. So Franks, it's typically just knights and then they can switch into infantry later. Chinese can kind of do everything. They can go knights, they can go camels, they can go crossbowmen, they yep. can go infantry. But I think, the more I think about it, if Capwatch continues to make crossbows and combines it with knights, it would make any camel play from MBL a little awkward. Yeah. So maybe that's what he's thinking here. And I think MBL, as we see, is adding that second range. Capwatch didn't patrol. He's not paying attention. He loses a unit right away. I think he's going to lose another archer here, although great job escaping with what he did as he was in a terrible position still. By all, by all rights, he should have been able to win that fight with superior military numbers, just caught off guard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm surprised he got away with what he did. Mm -hmm. um, MBL adding the second range at home, so he's not going to go for the stable, at least just yet. And there's the stable from Capwatch, but Capwatch is already on the way up. Holy. Yeah, like I said, Capwatch, uh, just really impressive build there with the Franks taking full advantage. MBL still a little bit 
away from clicking up, he maybe needs to idle a little bit his TC or just maybe garrison his farm villagers, but he should be up to Castle Age shortly. He will have the military advantage as he's going into what looks to be crossbows, and Capoch is now adding that yep. second stable. This is such an interesting moment. Um, for those of you that just saw that scout run across the screen, that was like the third time Capoch has sent the scout across the middle just to see what's coming. And I think he will be able to pick up on the fact that his opponent's too ranged now because he saw two archers kind of in a different area of the map running to the middle. Uh, he's not going to go range units though, Dave. He's just going to give, not, not give up on it, but he's not going to upgrade any of these yeah. things. Which means that now the Chinese, as we were saying, can think about adding a stable of their own, maybe yep. going some and camels. You called it. Yep. And uh, there's the stable for MBL. He's going to have a decent amount of archers here as he's on the way to ca Castle Age. He's going to be a minute and a half behind to Castle Age um, further than Kapach. But he does have full walls, and the full walls, even though they're only Palisade walls, will protect him for that minute and a half against the Knights. Is he going to go siege forward? He just snuck a vill out. Nah, he might be thinking about it. MBL is kind of pulling back. Is MBL going to... Yeah, he's splitting his skirmishers off, Tristan. He's, he's looking, looking He's looking for it because he realizes the skirmishers have, like, zero value at the moment. Yeah, that's so smart. I think, you know, it might be wise to maybe hide the archers just in case. He sends them forward to scout, though. So he sees the second TC, valuable piece of information. He sees that knight heading that way. Another valuable piece of information, but he does not notice the villager. Capoch is... is trying to do everything. <laughs> He's going to go two stable knights, three town centers, and whatever that villager is going to build. Yep. So I I'm going to say the same thing that I said in the previous game. Normally, it's not possible to keep the stables and the TCs running and then whatever else, but MBL might find it, actually. Look at that. Look at that villager again. Yeah. Oh, he does. oh, that's so, that's, that's so interesting. That, that's so nice from MBL. To spread out those uh, less valuable units, the skirmishers, to scout. Now he's going for a monastery in the middle. And this is like last game where you were saying 3TC boom, can't really produce. Capoch only has 13, 14 now on food. He's trying to produce from 3TCs at the same time. He's trying to keep this villager alive. He's trying to make knights. He can't, he can't do, do even all. two of those things at no. the same time, let alone three. I, I think in an ideal world, if you were just like a robot or something, right? So otherwise the Viper, um, you would have two TCs right now. Your night production would be there. Mm -hmm. You'd have a couple monks. Yeah. And then you transition to that third TC. But I've always described Capoch as a player of commitment. Um, when he's going to full wall, those walls are down, right? Yeah. Uh, whatever it may be, he just he just likes to really go for the craziness. And, and that, that monastery that for Capoch is going to help him a whole lot less than the monastery for MBL. But at least he'll get some value. Uh, via healing his knights and maybe yeah, yeah. grabbing a few relics. But still, the monastery from MBL it looks really nice at this stage. And MBL adds two TCs behind this. So he's going to have forward pressure with a siege workshop, with a monastery, with crossbows. And he's going to be producing eco uh, in the shadows in his base. So Capoch, he knows, dude. Look how much yeah. he has on stone. Yeah. <laughs> he's played MBL in enough games to know that if you give him map control, castles are going to come. And those knights could be really good. That, that's one thing Capwatch does so well, and the old players like Doubt do so well, where they're under pressure here, and then they sneak a couple knights to the side. MBL notices that right away, goes for a stone gate this time. And they're just trying to divide the attention of their enemy, right? Just trying to pick off two or three villagers here, and that'll add up over the course of the game. But MBL, like Capwatch, wasn't born yesterday. He's going to defend against that. The army count is still worrying for Capoch, but he's got the old, trusty, reliable monks. Mm -hmm. And he's making those. If MBL dives at all, the camels could get converted. Yep. And, and there's, there's now a castle. a castle, which isn't the best castle I've ever seen, but it's also not the worst. It does protect him on that side. It, it, it doesn't fail to go up. So <laughs> it's True. not the worst. Yeah, I mean, you're not really protecting this gold over here, but you're, yeah. you're protecting that area and the TC on the stone over there. So you can always make more castles. Castles are cheaper with the Franks as MBL now tries to push in through the side towards Capwatch. Capwatch trying to take advantage of the fact that MBL's walls are very long and hard to defend. Yeah, and, and that, on that hill, I don't think you can ever get there in House Wallet. I could be proven wrong here. But MBL is going to have knights in his base. Oh, oh Capwatch, Capwatch is coming back. Got to keep in mind that back with his knights. Capwatch could assume that's fully house walled at this yeah, point. Yeah, That was an important moment. He does uh, run in with I, those knights. I though. like how he sneaks in. He's just kind of distracting. Like, he's already given up these knights for dead, but he wants to pull the camels away so his other knights can attack that gate, potentially. Okay, so Chinese on Arabia. 
Nothing. <laughs> yeah, now they're coming to the gate. Yeah. It would have been so much better if he would have broken in the palisade. And still has a hole next to the, uh, the, house the stable there. and the house, yeah. Uh, well, how's there the push we go. going? Uh, MBL just lost a camel to the TC, I believe. Does he know about that castle yet? No, he doesn't, but I don't think I'd be too worried about anything else if I'm hitting the TC here. You'd be worried that Siege might show up. And now he's, like, annoyed. He's like, okay, I'm going to bring yep. my camels home. And good... Good idea to house wall behind that gate. I mean, Capwatch, you could see the thought process, right? He was going to go in with the knights, and he was going to sneak in with the five knights behind that. Yep. But MBL gets the houses down behind, and MBL is still pressuring for it. And this is a situation MBL wants to be in with Maginal Wars. And this is, like, this is what we've been saying all weekend. It's like, if you're playing MBL... Oh, 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 oh. Here come the knights. Sorry, Dave. This, this could swing so many different ways. Big shots all around. I think, though, MBL still gets the I think he's fine. Better. I think he's fine, but he's going to lose both Mangonels. I, I actually don't think that's fine for him. No. No, he, it was a really tough call, but Capwatch sits back with 83 villagers. He won't lose his town center. My question is, where wow. were those camels before? Because they were tracking the knights at, at MBL space, and Capwatch sent them back, and the camels yeah, didn't immediately true. follow. That's true. That You would think they'd be right behind Those knights that. came out from, from nowhere, and I was about to say, like, don't make your win condition getting into an, a Mangonel war with MBL and yeah. Capwatch used the Knights. Wow. He didn't want to go Mangonel v Mangonel. Now he's going for another castle there and he's going to secure the gold. So really impressive stuff from Capwatch to bring those Knights back and MBL a little bit slow with the Camel reinforcement. Yeah, there's a bunch of like 900 ELO, 1000 ELO players getting PTSD right now because of all the castles starting to go up. It is so difficult to stop this civilization. Even if you have the Camels and the Arbalest and the Halps and the cheap techs like Chinese, how are you going to raid somebody when they can protect everything with castles like that? Also, MBL only feudal age uh, eco upgrades with the Chinese. It's a sieve that you really want to try and get your eco upgrades with. And Capwatch tries to go for another Lady castle move. there. Oh, God. Oh, and the Manganel is oh, blocking God. it now. And Capwatch is like, just do it again somewhere else. Uh. As there's more villagers blocking this time. MBL trying to snipe that Manganel from Capwatch. He gets oh, it and he manages to save it. This is huge. The crossbows and the siege could deny the castle, but MBL just doesn't quite believe he can do it. Yep. Capwatch has commitment. Look at that. 20 some bills. Yep. And he pulls away, knowing pulls the shot away. would go there as well. If there was two Mangonels, maybe this castle gets denied with one Mangonel. I, I don't see it happening. And now Capwatch is going to take out that Mangonel. And MBL with this castle up is going to be in a rough position where he has all these crossbows, but he has nothing to do with them. Oh. Man. As he runs away, and if he doesn't see that castle on the left-hand side, he might actually run his Mangonel into that, because I don't know if he has vision on that yet. Neither of oh, them. This yeah, is he's going to be... waste another Mangonel, and he might even lose some crossbows here. This is amazing for Capwatch. Yep, there we go. This is huge. He, he can't be hit at all. MBL only has 17 farms, because, of course, he was focusing on all the fighting. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure MBL's farm count's going to go up, but you can't compete with a 4TC boom off 30 farms right now if you're MBL. And you also can't do any damage to it. This is crazy. So what are you thinking right now if you're MBL? I mean, he's making another Mangonel there. I don't know what he can push exactly. Yeah. He still has kind of map control in the middle and he's still safe at home, but he's down 14 villagers right now. Granted, he does have handcart, which Capwatch doesn't have. That's kind true. of mitigated by the fact that Capwatch has both the uh, Castle Age Eco upgrades. Yeah, I mean, here's what I think. I think you hold that middle hill, you never leave it. Mm -hmm. Your castle goes up there in a second. You sell wood and buy food and go in. Yep. That's what you have to do. Because if you try and turn this into a normal game, you will be out booms. But if you can get to the trebuchets with your camels and with whatever army you accompany that with, you've yep. got a chance. Yep. But the market's huge. Like if he doesn't have a market already, He's going to need it. And yeah, there's, and there's the, market. the market right there. So we got the university going up. We also have the market going up. MEL can buy some food. It looks like Capwatch is buying wood currently. He's thinking about Imperial Age as well, but I think MBL will have the advantage as we see him buy food and Capwatch now buying oh, food. Man. They're thinking about exactly the same thing. Capwatch will have three castles to produce trebs from. Yeah. So there's. And, oh, that's going to be a good raid if he manages to get in, but I think it's house walled, right? So you've got the castles, right? And he could have four soon, which is obnoxious. Maybe five and six. Um, but also, knights do a lot better job diving to hit trebs than camels do. And crossbows do. So MBL, he's going to have to pull his camels away now. Great job from MBL to make sure he hasn't overchopped that. 
another castle there on two neutral goals. <laughs> like, that's just MBL's got to finish this yeah. fast, man. Yeah, Capwatch is locking it down. I I just I'm so in love with how crazy Capwatch is in tournaments. Mm -hmm. He beat Dell earlier. He's in a position to beat MBL, even though the population has it at 134 apiece. This is a close one. This is a close one for sure, because MBL still has that crossbow mass, right? And we're looking at the army from Capwatch, and we're thinking he's going to be an Imperial Age, he's going to win the Trebor. But can he push past that Trebor, right? Yep, yep it's true. MBL is is still going to have the camels. He's still going to have the crossbows. He doesn't have the map control now with that castle up, the fourth wow. castle of the game. for. He's Capo. still got 700 stone. He has had 23 villagers on stone. Yeah. And that can't even be his main and secondary. I bet you there's a neutral stone he's taking. He's all over the map with stone. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Right there. Huh. And MBL is buying stone now. He's thinking about a castle of his own. Maybe he wants to contest... Uh, that one on the right as well. No, where is he going here? He's coming forward for another one. <gasps> okay, saved. He needs to build that faster. I mean, he's only 22 seconds away from Imp, and it looks like he's sending more villagers there. He needs Trebs out right away. I don't mind that castle because you can set up on that hill and Treb yep. there maybe, but it's awfully exposed. But uh, anyone who's thinking uh, tech switches, late game things for the Chinese, that's just not going to happen. When you're behind in relics, neutral gold control, and then also pretty exposed to raids, it looks like you have to push up the middle here. MBL will likely be fine. Yep. He's going to kill these knights. He'll be happy to do that and finish his castle, but it's got to be all in on trebs and camels right now. Okay, castle will go up. MBL is already an Imperial Age. He's got one Treb in the queue. He doesn't have gold for the other Treb, and there you go. He's now selling stone for gold. Look at the castle from Capwatch. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is actually so good. Yeah, it is really good. Taking full advantage of the cheap Frank castles. The only thing that's bad is if he can't repair his castle, mm -hmm. um, and he starts to lose all that ground, and that can get out of hand really quick, but... MBL is going into more stables, so more camels while he has gold. Yeah. And he's going to discover Ooh. this castle here. Ooh, okay. They can't, does he have enough camels to pull over there? Does he notice this? Well, that Capwatch wants him to go over there. That's what's yeah. tricky. He cannot leave. He almost has to let that castle go up if he knows about it. Yeah, I don't think he knows about it yet. He would have pulled villagers away from that Ooh. one line. He does Ooh. have the hill advantage Ooh. against this, and Capwatch is coming in with those knights, and that castle... Against the trebuchet from MBL, downhill is not going to survive for very long. I mean, he's got three trebs attacking, and Capwatch yeah. only repairing with, what, seven villagers there? Capwatch, do you maybe want to save some stone for your base, bro? Look at this. Look at this. Second castle. He wants to break into MBL's eco, and he wants to make sure camels can never defend from that. Yep. That's Another crazy. treb out from MBL. He's got four trebs now. Capwatch also with four, but he's shooting uphill, and he can't really engage here with the Cavalier. MBL wants him to come in there with the Cavalier. Capwatch wants MBL to react to those castles in the north with this the camels. Is, this is a disgusting game, and I mean that positively, because MBL's still staying put, and he can win this fight. He's going to have still heavy repairing camels. The castle. He's still repairing the castle. He's somehow keeping it alive, but he has to buy stone to do so. He's now targeting the trebs from Capwatch. He's just hoping he can take these trebs out before the castle goes down, but the castle is down now, and Capwatch has completed the castle in the north. He's even raiding with a random <laughs> throwing <laughs> axeman, <laughs> and... Uh, MBL has managed to take out two of those trebs, and MBL is pushing down this hill. MBL controls the center of the map. Capwatch controls literally everything yeah, else. Yeah, but but he's gonna he's gonna take all the sides, and he's gonna lose his heart, right? Like this is horrible. He also has not made any tech switch to Halb or anything that counters heavy camel. What Capwatch needs to do is he needs to like get more units yeah. into MBL's farming eco. Yeah, but. MBL I don't think needs to ignore it. He can't. MBL cannot go after any of that. Capwatch can't allocate any attention to that right now, though. Yeah, true. He needs to be controlling his army. He needs to be thinking about how he stops this wave of military. 60 military from MBL pushing him with trebuchet behind. He's got even more trebs in the queue. Uh, and the thing is, you've got 12 crossbows with ballistics, with Bodkin. That's going to do a moderately good job at dealing with any early help numbers. MBL's base is still wide open. We're going to have Cavalier running in. This is going to get crazy. But again, MBL's got to push the middle 
only the middle. This game is nuts. It's nuts. Also, how many houses did Catwatch make this game? Because this could get really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's MBO with that. <laughs> I'm Bro. just saying, if you had eight castles, you might not have made that many houses. Oh, throwing Axeman raid. See, that's what he needs to do. This is what he needs to do, and I think MBO is going to struggle against us. Look at him pull all those away. He does have hand what? cards, so they're going to be quite quick. But MBO is just like base trade. Let's go. <laughs> and he's go. making a TC in the middle of the map. he's taking Catwatch's gold right now. Look, Two TCs. He's like, screw my base. I, I need to stay here next to my army because nowhere else is safe. Oh, no! Through the castles! Okay, no! he noticed. But no ballistics. He noticed. No ballistics. This is insane. This is the best game so far of this event. There's no doubt. And it's a game number three. It's a deciding yeah. game. Which thousands one goes home? Which one goes through? This game alone is worth thousands. As we said, but the camels are raiding. The axemen are raiding. <laughs> a unit we thought we'd never see. As NBL, both players struggle to keep their farms alive. NBL's got to... Okay, I was going to say, he's got to get his camels back. He still has them protecting the trebs, but you do not want to take small groups at this point. Yeah. Catwatch can do that. You need your main army to be together the whole time. Catwatch has 15 helps. He's got 42 cavalier. He still has the little slight lead in this game, I think. MBL is adding another TC downtown in the middle. Okay, that's one of that's one of the two TCs we saw as he continues to push with Trebs. He's now farming where there used to be a blue and, castle. And you know, like Capoch actually doesn't have new TCs. He's yep. got castles. He's got like one TC on the side. Yep. Wow, what a ridiculous game right now. This is unbelievable. And MBL is buying food and selling wood at this stage of the game as he retreats with the Trebs. Capwatch really wants to take care of those Trebs, but look at how many camels. 59 camels on the field as Capwatch mixes in the helps, and MBL still has those crossbows around. He's, he does. He's, he's kept those around, and they're going to be very valuable here. He's even getting Bracer. That's a lot of helps, though. So I think the patience from MBL is is spot on. Is it? Are they just gonna have a straight up tribe war over nothing? Uh, why not at this point? <laughs> for nothing in the middle. Well, for nothing, but like for everything at the yep. same time. Uh, this is an amazing engagement. MBL's trebuchets are on the hill. I'm not sure if Capwatch gets any hill bonus on this, but we have the massive engagement, Dave. And yeah, I, and honestly, there's so many halbs. There's so many halbs there. I, there's I so many camels. It. There's so many halbs, but MBL has the hill. He kept those crossbows alive for so long. They weren't getting much value against the Cavalier. They're getting value against the halbs, and now the heavy camels are being pulled back. Capwatch is throwing everything he has at this position from MBL, but MBL is somehow surviving. Capwatch with more halbs on the way. Numbers are dwindling for both. I can't tell what's happening. I mean, there's a better Q right now now for Catwatch, but MBL has the better units, I think. And those crossbows, those so lovely, much value. lovely so crossbows much value. have brought so much value here. He did get Bracer for that, Dave. He also has gold income. He has food. They have everything. Can, can we just get a quick look back at MBL's starting eco? That's what I expected. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, we can go back to everything but a home. <laughs> <laughs> we can go back to what is his new eco now, which is soon going to be Catwatch's base. Dave, they went from 200 pop to 130 both. It's ridiculous. And now they're both in recovery mode. Yeah, they're they are. both in recovery mode, and, and primary recovery mode for MBL should be the farms. Capot should be recovering his military here as he stretches out for some more gold. On the edges, MBL is running out of gold. I think MBL just really needs to get his farm set up all clear at the back there, and maybe even think. Uh, do you pull those tribes back to deal with those castles? I don't think it's worth no, it. No, I, I actually, it sounds stupid, but I actually think. Take, taking any side control right now <gasps> is good for Catwatch. Yeah, NBL is but not protecting again, those trebs. Okay, Camel's coming over, and okay. this castle is just going to absolutely well, be eviscerated. How sick is this, though? He, he gets the timing right, and look at the main battle. He's there and ready. Yep. Like, he's always going to be there, and he's waiting for his moment. Also, what he doesn't have is food. Yep. All he needs is wood and gold for crossbows, because Catwatch has 33 halves and 5 cavalier. MBL's got the lead right now. Yeah, Capwatch is trying to snipe those tribes. Capwatch has kept his farm count going, though. Yeah. Like, and he's, he's producing more villagers. 60. I mean, he's he's up to 112 villagers. MBL's at 82. Yeah. So Capwatch's eco is carrying him through here. MBL's army is carrying him. And this is just a classic matchup here as Capwatch has all the farm set up behind. That is the bread basket Look at MBL's of his eco. efforts. <laughs> <laughs> what? MBL's eco is just... I, <laughs> oh, I love it he's so taking much. He's a light cab and he's getting more farms. And if, if we know something, oh it's this goes to a trash war. Yeah. Capwatch has got to be worried. 85 farms. Yep. But like, what does he make with food? 
I guess that's the issue. This is why you wanted the Chinese. You wanted the Chinese because of their never-ending yep. options. And there go the camels into the eco. I don't think there's a hole there, but NBL with those crossbows, so much value on those. Crossbows have 55 kills, Tristan. Yeah. And those are like 55 crucial help kills, yep. which set up the camels to crucially kill the Cavalier. Relics are now on Garrison for Capoch, so he's not even getting that passive income there. Worker efficiency is higher for MBL, but Capoch does have more villagers. As Capoch is now trying to catch those trebs, he can. I think MBL is just going to retreat to the castle. He could retreat to the TC as well, and Capoch might lose those units. I think this is swinging in favor of MBL, but it's still so tough to call. MBL has Arbalest now. If he has Arbalest, yeah. he, he almost cannot be stopped if the trebs are with the push. There is just simply not enough Cavalier for Capwatch, and that farming eco is all behind this. It's not in the corners. It's all right behind this town center that MBL is approaching. What an insane swing. Yeah, just, I mean, insane. and one of those castles in the north has been cleared. Can we have, uh, can we make this a best of 11 right now? Because these two, they always have one game that we'll remember forever. They're just crazy, like. man. Yeah. Both of these guys are, are so incredibly talented. And then you add to that the determination, right? Like, Capoch is not giving up here. He is the population. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right I know. Now. And, like, he's got to make more houses now. Because <laughs> oh. he lost all the castles. Oh, I man. mean, he's got 58. Halberdiers, he's still producing villagers. 14 in the queue, goes for more stables, still has four, 57 <laughs> farms somehow, and is taking back the gold again. Oh, man. Again, such great patience from MBL, though, because there's been opportunities to spread out here. Yep. And if he does that, I think it, it gives him advantage is a, to uh, I think Capwatch has been saving up for Blast Furnace, and this is a Blast Furnace denial on that Blacksmith, because it oh, takes yeah. a very long time to come in. Well... How fast does the light cap kill him? <laughs> this is the question, I suppose. Still really curious what's going on back at MBL starting. Eco and the Trebs He's are here. He's taking it out. He's taking it out. Oh, he timed that and perfectly, he didn't he? Too. He timed wow. that perfectly, didn't he? Yeah. Wow, yeah. like, this isn't even Capwatch making mistakes. This is just this is just MBL forcing his hand. They both played this so well. It's like, it's incredible. Cap Capwatch has played this good enough to have won this game 15 minutes ago. Against right? many other opponents. Against many other yeah. opponents. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, he is, what I've seen from Capwatch, and like you said before, in tournaments, he just shows up. And he's unbelievable. MBL, though, once you get him in the flow, in the rhythm, he is damn near unstoppable. I feel like, you know, the emotions of the set, they might still be there, but this is just like, you don't have time to think about anything. Yeah. You're doing a lot of doing, not thinking, as you said, Dave, but like, how many Messi Arabia games have we seen MBL play yeah. where he has TCs in the middle and things like that? I've never seen one quite like this. And though. we've seen thousands of games from the guy, so. Yeah, Blast Furnace was denied, by the way. Oh, Capwatch spent a lot of time saving up for that, too. I think. <laughs> <laughs> that is just unfortunate. But now these farms are being denied. Capwatch is struggling to find space. He's spreading his wings. He's still spreading out over the map. He's going for some counter raids with the Cavalier. Capwatch will not give up. That is and something is we so know good. about his character. This is so good. MBL's using that TC solely to send villagers back to farms. Yep. The Cavalier are waiting. But the Arbalest, Dave. I, I just don't know how you kill the so Arbs. So much value. 81 kills now on those. And he saved those crossbows when a lot of players, I think, would have just thrown them away against the Cavalier, assuming they wouldn't have much value. The KD is insane. The population is still 160 the eco for both KD. of them. <laughs> what a one to one fifteen! I mean, oh the castle God. count will be forty-four insane. minutes into the game. I, it's like when MBL kills things, Capoch kills things. Yeah, and it is just they're just forever existing Back within the forth. same ten population. Yep, it's like they've set some type of a rule. It's just that arbalist mass. As long as MBL keeps some of those camels alive, he can just keep pushing with the arbalist yep. mass. He can think about, I think he's thinking about snagging those relics. And look at the, the farms <laughs> in the middle of the map. Capoch's farms are all Get nicely the relic placed. Go! No! So close. Why did you throw it the opposite way? Yeah, I didn't want a dumb monk. Yeah. Well, listen, I think MBL just sent something. That's the first time he's seen more than 10 Cavalier. And so he correctly has is, is assessed the situation. Mm -hmm. He's going to fall back and he's going to try and stabilize. I think what you do if you're Capwatch is you have to. <laughs> This is stupid as this sounds. Pull Cavalier to the left, pull Cavalier to the right, and try and raid, yep. forcing a reaction from MBL. Because yeah. if you just wait, it could become a problem here. I wonder how many Trebs MBL has left. I think he's maybe heading for that final castle from Capwatch. 
over on the left side. No, they're still they're, okay. They're they're clearing yep. up the stables there. There's one more castle from Capwatch, kind of locking down that left side as Emil and him are duking it out over that gold. What like a helpless feeling you have if you're oh, Capwatch, it's a big though. fight coming up here. No, nah, Capwatch he... was protecting his monk to get the That's relic. Such back. a rough. It's such a rough situation to be in as Franks. MBL kills the villager up there. That's really, really nice from him. He also snagged both those rel uh, one of those relics. One of those I relics. Think, really Capwatch quick. pushed forward with the the army oh, he got so the he other could one. get yep, the other. Yep. Why not make the monastery a little bit further back? <laughs> well, well, time, the but... thing because if he loses that position, yeah, I guess dead, it's right? done. Yeah, he needs the gold right away. And MBL maybe should have thought about. I guess he just wanted I, to get the relic into safe hands, but yeah. maybe should have thought. I mean, as it's well. now at a point where MBL is raiding with Lightcap, yeah. so he has the ability to raid. So he doesn't have to preserve his units quite as much. And Capwatch has not been able to expand much. You think, just three light cap in the back. Do you think he thinks he has Blast Furnace? I, dude, that's the last thing on his mind <laughs> right now. He's like, I make units, I fight with units, I hope that the fight works. Oh, okay. That's a lot of dead halves. And the Arbalists keep racking up the kills. We got 94 kills on those Arbalists. Capwatch is adding another TC, though. And he's still raiding in <laughs> MBL's a, base. I mean, he's so good, but he's losing. MBL just got the second gold mining upgrade because he knows he probably won't be on that gold for very long. Yeah, he's long. like, I gotta get this. And he's like, I, I gotta get this in. Yeah, I just gotta steal this. Capwatch making it TC, as Mem would say, on the edge, oh, of, the the edge map. of the map. <laughs> that's the safest town center he has, though. That's that's legitimately great. The, everything about this game has been beautiful. I hope that people watching feel special, especially those that have been here live. We will be looking back on this one when we're old and gray. But I don't think Capwash has a chance anymore. To come up with a game like this, in this stage, at this moment, this late at night, and Capwatch says GG well played, and MBL with a fist bump, and MBL is through. Capwatch unfortunately is out after he took out Doubt earlier today. Capwatch, what a warrior. MBL making it through in one of the, the probably the best game of the tournament for me no so doubt. far. No doubt. I mean, good luck everybody else who's going to play because you're you're just not going to be able to beat that. Yeah. Holy crap! And I'm sure there is a mutual respect there as they are both are talking to each other. We'll get MBL in an interview eventually. Yeah. But I mean, what is it up with MBL with these close sets in these crucial moments? He moves on to the quarterfinal. No one. We'll want to face that guy. What's up with these two facing against each other? It needs to happen more. <laughs> yeah, it needs, it it needs does. to happen more. It does. Oh, my goodness. Incredible. So thank you, ladies and gents, for watching this. Uh, there are certain moments in my career where I will look back and say, man, I'm really glad that I was able to cover that. I'm really glad I was there for that. And that's certainly near the top. Let me know what you thought about this one. Uh, let me know if you saw this one already with the, the Red Bull content. I know a lot of people did watch that already and maybe would have enjoyed the rewatch, but there also might have been some of you that didn't watch the Red Bull event when it was happening. So again, give me your thoughts. Also, let me know if you have an interest in me uploading a few of the other games from this event, the individual games that really shocked me, uh, as there were still a few more. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like if you really enjoy the content. I have plenty more Age of Empires 2 content coming for you soon, and have a good one.